Hi, I'm Lynn Bridgeford from the Aether Bios Clinic and Aether Bios Yoga. Today I'm going to show you some wrist exercises, strengthening and stretching. I use my wrists a lot as an osteopath. People are laying on my hands or I'm using them for strong movements. And my students start to get issues with their wrists when they go on to load bearing on their hands. So it's good to have some exercises. Patients who've perhaps broken something or have a carpal tunnel or some issue in their hands, the wrists or fingers. These are very helpful, simple exercises. So with nice straight spine, shoulders above the hips, crown above the base, and we're going to bring the palms together, press them together and bring them down. So we're putting a little bit of pressure. Now if you've had a broken wrist, that's going to be tricky. So then we would take something like a towel and put it between the heels of the hands so that the angle is not as much. So find where you can be comfortable. We never want to force anything. So we'll do the exercises without, but if you need the towel, use the towel. So press the hands together, turn the fingers forwards, keep the shoulders down, press the hands towards you. So you're pressing the palms to each other, bring them towards you. Then we can point them down, press together, lift up. And then the next one will be to turn them towards us and press away. If any of those hurt back off, you might not get that far with the movement, or you might not push that far. So we've got straight, forwards, down, and in. So those, you might need to give a little shake of your hands afterwards. Then we're gonna bring the hands onto the bed. So you want to spread the fingers and the palms. I like to stand up for this. So we spread the fingers and the palms. We get a full contact on the floor. So you can just, on the mat, Go side to side, giving a little stretch. Go forwards and backwards and make circles. So that'll move all the way through the fingers, the hands, the wrists and up into the forearm. Remember that the hand is moved by the forearm, forearm by the upper arm, so the arms are all above. Then we do the same thing, turn the fingers in, press the palms flat, we're gonna forwards, side to side and rotate all nice and slowly feeling what's happening. Next one, we turn the hands outwards. So again, if you can't go all the way, just go where you can. Get as broad a base as possible. Remember, if you're going to be doing hand balances, you need a big tripod with your hands. So side to side, forwards and backwards, and rotate one way and the other. So we've done forwards, we've done out, we turn in, now depending on what's happening with you, some of these might be more challenging than others. So again, get the broad base with the hands pressing into the mat, forwards, backwards, side to side, and rotate one way, rotate the others. Now, probably the most challenging one, and very important for people who want to do Mayurasana, the peacock. So we do side to side, forwards and backwards, little circles one way, and the other. And again, you might only get that far, find where you can be. When we come out of that, we're gonna shake the wrists again. Give them a good shake, let them relax. So the last bit, just to put it simply together, this is a bit of a brain teaser. We're gonna bring the fingertips together and we just pump them together and apart a little bit. So a little pressure between the finger pads at the tips then we keep the fingertips together, a little bit of pressure, keeping the spine in a nice alignment. We're going to do a rotation as they're removing like a wheel around an imaginary line. Getting all that movement through the wrist, forearms and up to the elbows. Now comes the brain teaser. You're going to take your right thumb and your left index finger. I'm mirroring you. Put those together. Then join the next three fingers. You'll have a little finger and a thumb left. Put those together, finger pads together. It's changed the angle of the wrist, so we're going to rotate again. And then bring it back thumb to thumb. Then we're going to take the left thumb to the right index finger. Again, I'm mirroring you. Join the next three together. Little finger and thumb underneath. And move around the midline. Nice rotations, nice and gentle, nothing to hurt. Pressing the finger pads together. Come back together little rotation, a little, I think this looks like incy wincy spider, 
and then we can bring the palms together and we want to move keep the palms where they are and move the fingers that doesn't matter if they only move a little bit we just want to get some movement so we're getting movement in this joint so don't worry if they don't quite look like mine do I'm quite bendy so we just want to get a little movement in those joints spread and shake thank you so much simple exercises prayer position prayer position prayer position that way hands flat forwards backwards side to side rotate so fingers forwards in out and back and then we have our incy wincy spider the rotation the brain teaser index finger to thumb join the next three one underneath see if you can do that without sticking your tongue out and pulling faces and then the other way as well and the finger exercises little shake and that should help you to relax all the muscles in the lower arm strengthen the fingers and the wrists thank you so much that's wrist exercises to help you stretch and strengthen thank you